So there you go. That's how it all works. New counter. Lots of area. And I'm tired. So, you no know, place to sit around here. The office area is, is taken up by junk. I do have a nice tire sitting here though. There you go. Now I can sit down. Kind of. I can lay back. Can I fall over? Yep. Probably. There you go. Way back. Yeah, I'll sit like this. It's easier. So people have been asking me, why am I moving? Get the camera set up better. There you go. I am moving because it's none of your damn business. That's why. That's usually my first response, but yeah, whatever. So what we're doing is, if you watch some of my previous videos over the year, I've told you I wanted to start some kind of a Harley School type thing up at the uh, Cumba location. I still do. I'm getting tired of paying rent to the landlord and living, being a slave to that and slave to every other damn thing sent me. I haven't been racing, no fun time for me, no riding, no anything, just work, 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 so 21 and a half years of uh, being down there, I'm getting tired. So, come back home. This is home. It's where I grew up. It's where I learned how to do what I do. Dad died about five years ago, so the building's been vacant. He's not using it. Mom's too old to do much of anything anymore. I'm right next to her, she's next door, so I can help her when I, whenever I need to. So take care of families, how you do things. That's how we do it anyway. So everything's back like it used when I was a kid. Back home, playing around, help the family when you can, and basically not be a bum. So that's how you do it. So not like how kids are taught these days. They're taught to be a bunch of, uh, I don't know, what can I get from now for me? That's about what they are. So anyway, that's why. I want to go back doing stuff like I want to. I'll do one or two jobs at a time, Max. So don't keep asking me to work on this and this and this and this and this for the next 20 years. I got already a five-year list of stuff that, uh, to get done that I'm already not doing right now. So I'll do some work when I can here and there. You'll see it in the videos. It's small. The shop's small. I'm getting older. I'm slowing down. I'm getting more and more picky about my work, so that takes even more time. But when it's done, it's done. It's done right. So that's how I want to do it, and I want to have some racing fun. Get some of my racing stuff done. I like doing that. So, so it'll be a mix between racing and family and helping people on their bikes. I like helping uh, project bikes. Don't really have room for bikes here too much, but motors, you know, family projects, your limbs. Earlums, whatever you say, however you say that, you know, whatever. I like special, uh, special projects. So, working on your daily driver is not my interest. You can hardly get that done, I heard. Well, maybe, probably not, but yeah, whatever. So, we'll still be doing teaching videos, showing different things. I'll still work on later model stuff here and there just to show how it's done, but I'm not interested in that stuff at all. I pretty much like everything that's uh, 57 and older. That'd be a 1957 to you uh, kids that can't count that far back. And I go back to 1930, so that's enough coverage for me. So pretty much when they put a swing arm on the bike, it turned into a non-Harley me. So that eliminates a lot of stuff. So anyway, that's how I am. That's how I grew up. What I like. I like flatheads. I like beating people with my flatheads too. So I've done 152 mile an hour in my flathead, so get your turn out and see how fast it'll go. I can make mine go pretty quick. I mean, that's on a 45 cubic inch flathead, not even a big one. So I got big ones too. You can make them things 100 inches or better. So. You know, we uh, having fun, fun, fun. Anyway, that's what I like doing. I haven't been able to do it. I like to. You see my fork right there, that's for my 37 ULH. Didn't quite get rid of that done yet. Got a 35 VLH I like to build too. Gotta to get Dad's bike back together, a 34 VL. That's that chrome bike in some of my videos. The military bike is, you know, it's 
put that together near 82 or so. This ain't 1982 anymore. It's got a lot of hard miles on that bike. It probably wouldn't hurt to freshen that motor up. Maybe update a little bit. Probably not. Just fix it up. And, uh, you know, get that thing running strong again. It's down about 5 mile an hour. It's not doing 80 and a quarter no more. It's about 75 or so. Slowing down. Turn into a slug. Can't have that. Gotta have more speed. So I got another military bike to put together, an earlier one, a naked one. It'll be faster. Guarantee you. A lot faster. But uh, anyway, the military bike I'll probably keep it as it is because that's how I built it the first time. Kinda like it that way. So anyway, that's where we're at. So that's about as much I get in the family stuff. So some stuff I did uncover that I forgot about kind of a little bit. And I put it over to keep it. Trike chain guard was not what I did. I do have those though. So there's a Bonneville poster or a Murrock poster. Well, that's Murrock. Ooh, even better. Now Murrock is Edwards Air Force Base, in case you don't know that. So when they took it over for World War II, that would be in 1941, if you dumbasses don't understand history. We ran a Murrock in 95, uh, I think. I was a champion that year, so I got to run first down the track in 50 years. So I took my military bike and got a record with it, 84 and a half mile an hour. Yep. Then I lost a couple years later. Some stupid ass Indian race bike came out and beat my military bike. Yeah, it pissed me off. So I lost that record. Those records have been all retired, but they're still around. So anyway, that's uh, that's my uh, partner's bike, Fritz Cott. Full house mouse. Got my motor in it. That's my KR motor in there. He ran in there for a few years. Looks like uh. Someone defaced my poster with a signature there. I guess that's Fritz. Yeah, I was off the. Yeah. I don't know. Does that say Fritz caught on it? Maybe. So anyway, I'm not doing signatures, but I get a few every now and then. So that's the one I like. So what year is this poster from? I don't think it even tells you. But. Uh, uh, let's see, what year, Reunion, Murrock Reunion, there it is, 98, it doesn't tell you what year the Mur it was, but anyway, we ran there for five years, I think, before they shut it down, so, so anyway, that's, uh, that's the kind of stuff I like doing, I've been doing this for a lot of years, so I found that, and then I found this too, so, I don't hang my racing stuff up, I'd bury it. I might put these ones up. So, that light's horrible. So there's what I look like when I was not old and slow and not having any fun. I'm trying to get it where there's no light on there. So there, there's what it looks like. So that's up at Bonneville. And that just happens to be the same bike as right there, see? So that means that is from 19, this is what year, 98? So that means that's from 97. <laughs> so there you go. So when it rains at Bonneville, it's a lake, it's all wet. But you can see how deep the water is, it's only about a half inch deep. So it looks like you're walking on water up there. I got some other pictures like that with me on them too. So anyway, there you go. That's what uh, I look like after a week. See, I got a beard going right now, and I didn't bring my shaver that year. So, anyway, that's the uh, that's his bike. Bike's still around, but they don't use it anymore, so it just sits. But it's it's still out there. It's got his motor in it. He's got a KH. I have a KR. So be running the KH bike. So anyway, there you go. That's uh, that's what they look like. So a bit of history. So if you go to the uh, SCTA BNI uh, website, which they probably have on here somewhere. Oh, this might be before. It's probably before websites. Too damn old. They didn't have a website back then. 
Oh well. Yeah, there's no website. It's too old. Anyway, if you go on their website, you can uh, get the current record book and you can see how many records I still have. I had 23 at one time current. I don't have that many anymore. They got broken. And I still got some left. So, anyway. Alright, that's enough wasted time. It's now 3, or, you know, 3, 3.40. Getting late. I'm not going to unload my truck tonight. I'll wait until it's nice and hot and do it tomorrow. So, so there you go. We're out of here. I'm going to go down that stairway right there.